if you were to talk to somebody maybe at the beginning of their journey or even talking to yourself at the beginning of your journey, what would be a couple of lessons that you think have helped you excel in an area that is extremely difficult and competitive? Well, look, I, I, I tell people all the time that <clears throat> there is no substitution for hard work. Mm. I mean, there just isn't. I mean, and even in today's world where you can push a button and do this and do that, the guy who's working harder at that is going to be better at that. Yeah. And, you know, my practice shoes, I used to put hard on this foot and work on this foot. So every time I looked down, I saw hard work. You know, because what I learned, you know, really going back to high school, that some of the more talented kids, kids were more, way more talented than me. Yeah. You know, they they didn't want to put the work in. They weren't disciplined. They whatever. They just yeah. you know got distracted. Yeah. yeah. And man, and you know, if if you are willing to work hard at something, I mean, you know, the thing about it, the thing that's so interesting about life to me is that. You know, you may start off on one road, you know what I mean? Thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm working hard. I'm doing this and doing it. But, but boom, because you're working hard and you, you're putting yourself in it, something over here is going to pop. Mm. And it's going to be 10 times bigger than this. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's going to put you in a position where, wow, you know. But the only reason you got this is because you were working hard on that. Totally. Yeah, you know it breeds I mean? opportunity. And it's exactly right. Yeah. And and but the harder you know, I work, the luckier I get, right? <laughs> exactly. yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, I just um, you know, the one thing I try and tell my kids, man, just whatever you do, just do it. Yeah. You know, just I don't care if you're coaching, I don't care if you know I, my son wants to coach, my daughter wants to uh be a lawyer, and mm -hmm. another another daughter thinking about, you know, uh psychology. I don't care. Yeah. Just work at it. Because if you work at it, you know, even if something don't pop on the side, man, you're going to be the best. Right. The best you can be, and that's, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, and the best you can be at anything. Like, if, if, you're, if you're one of the best at almost literally anything, you can make a fantastic living and live a, wonder, and live no a, doubt. a great life. No doubt. So, no. Even, especially now. No with, doubt. With how many ways there, is, there are to monetize your expertise and everything. You know, yeah. it's just... If, it's just that yep. you got to take the time to get ready to do it. The thing, you got, whatever you, it is, you, you got to do it, man. I mean, you know, you you hear stories, man, but when you when you dig into the story, you you, you know why the story is what it is. Right. You know, right. you know why it didn't it didn't work. You right. know, because you wasn't putting the work. Yeah, sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and yeah. Um, so yeah, man. You know, look, uh, the discipline. You know. You know, you, you, you know, if you're a hard worker and you're a disciplined person, man, look, I tell people, I mean, literally, I think in, in the 17 years in the league, I think I can count on one hand the workouts I've missed. Mm. I, it just didn't happen. 17 years. <laughs> in 17 in the league, years. Man. You know, so you're talking from Crazy. March the 1st until June the 15th, you know, working out four days a week, you know. Nothing because nothing pre takes precedence over what you really want to accomplish. Right. If this is what you're trying to accomplish, then why are you over here when it, when you should be working on this? Mm. You know what I mean? So, but that kind of discipline, man. You know, um, you know. Now I'm walking around with this shirt on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, you know, people. Why you do that? Because I earned it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be walking around with your home shirt on. Why? Yeah. I'm about to put my ring on too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making you uncomfortable. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You know, because man, look, I mean, you know, look, I mean, life is short and you know, but um when you when you work hard at stuff at something and you know you know what you gave up yeah. to get to it. Right. Hey, you y'all say whatever y'all want to say about me, but I got about twenty more shirts like this in my <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I may wear one every day for a month if I could. Exactly. But no, man, you know. You put um, in the sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, right. Hard work, discipline, man, you know, and those are things. Every, everybody can do that. Uh, every, that's the thing, man. It's a level, it, it's a level playing field yeah, for the most it, part. Yeah. It, you know, I mean, you don't. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a kid from freaking southeast Dallas. Right, right. You know, on a high school that went more than four, four games in three years. Yeah. But the opportunity was there, man. You just take advantage of what 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 you have in front of you, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, things will work out great.